Understanding Screw into Wood, a practical guide for English language learners. Hello everyone, and welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to explore a common English phrase, screw into wood. This phrase might sound simple, but it's packed with meaning and is very useful, especially if you're interested in DIY projects or just want to expand your English vocabulary. Let's dive in. Screw into wood is a phrase that combines two main words, screw and wood. A screw is a type of fastener, typically made of metal, with a helical ridge, known as a thread. It is used for assembling or holding objects together. Wood, on the other hand, is a hard, fibrous material that makes up the trunk and branches of trees. When we say, screw into wood, we're referring to the action of inserting a screw into a piece of wood, usually with a tool like a screwdriver or a drill. Understanding this phrase is important for several reasons. One, practical application. It's a common phrase used in construction, carpentry, and DIY projects. Two, language development. It helps you understand how English speakers use verbs with prepositions to describe actions. 3. Cultural insight. This phrase gives insight into everyday activities and hobbies that are popular in English-speaking countries. Now, let's see how to use this phrase in a sentence. Here are a few examples. I need to screw this bracket into the wood to hang the shelf. Make sure you screw into the wood at a straight angle to avoid splitting it. He was careful not to screw too tightly into the wood, as it might crack. When using this phrase, avoid these common mistakes. 1. Misusing the preposition, saying, screw on wood, instead of, screw into wood. 2. Forgetting the context using the phrase in a context not related to fastening or assembling things. 3. Literal interpretation. Remember, this phrase is often used in a practical, hands-on context. Thank you for joining us in this exploration of the phrase, screw into wood. We hope this lesson not only expands your English vocabulary but also gives you a practical phrase you can use in everyday conversations, especially if you're interested in DIY or carpentry. Keep practicing, and see you in our next video.